Number 1. Thermen Museum. As Heerlen has a long history that spans back to the Roman Age of Conquest, it makes sense that you can find many ancient Roman artifacts and excavations here. One such site is the Spa Museum which is actually located right in the middle of the town center. Constructed in 1977, this unique museum was actually built around the remains of the best preserved Roman bath in the Netherlands. Number 2. Honesbroek Castle. Located in the small suburb of Honesbroek, which is to the northwest of Heerlen, is the Honesbroek Castle. As with other castles in the country, it is built on water and partially surrounded by a moat. Constructed in 1360, it is one of the largest castles in the Netherlands and held a strategic position for the Dukes of Brabant. Number 3. Gaia Zoo. Gaia Zoo is one of the most popular and renowned zoos in the country and has a reputation for its quality. If you are looking for a day trip from Heerlen city center this is a great choice, Gaia Zoo is located to the east of Heerlen and you can also visit the amazing Mondo Verde and Snow World if you have time too. With over 1,000 species of animal and reptile you will be amazed at the variety, you can see giraffes, gorillas, monkeys and more. Number 4. Mondo Verde. Mondo Verde is a huge ornamental garden that contains a variety of different garden styles and arrangements. The beauty, color, style and design are simply fantastic and you will be enthralled with the number of different plants, flowers and trees that are found here. Split into many differed themed areas, one minute you can find yourself in an Italian garden surrounded by Roman architecture and a plethora of unusual flora. Number 5. Steenkelenmin Valkenburg. Another wonderful attraction based on the coal mining industry that once thrived in Heerlen and Limburg. Located directly in the middle of Maastricht and Heerlen in the small town of Valkenburg lies the underground world of Steenkelenmin. Take to the mines and discover what it was like to work beneath the surface of the earth in a coal mine. Number 6. Schunk. This stunning piece of architecture is one of the most recognized buildings in Heerlen, and one of the best examples of the modern movement in the country. Located in the city center next to the Pancratiuskirk, this structure has an abundance of glass and is actually known as the Glass Palace. Number 7. Dutch Mining Museum. Heerlen has a long history associate with coal mining and this industry played a major part in the city's economical development in earlier decades. Much of this history is explained in great detail at the Dutch Mining Museum. This establishment is located in the center of Heerlen in an old mining tower building. Number 8. Ambos Park. In the center of the city, to the east of the main shopping center you can find the Ambos Public Park. Stretching for 45 hectares and covered in beautiful forest, this is a great place to enjoy some walking and wildlife spotting. Since the early 2000s, the park has seen major restorations and is now a great place to relax. Number 9. Snow World Landgraf. This huge structure is located to the east of Heerlen near Gaia Zoo and Mondo Verde. For those who love to ski, there is no better place, enjoy the five different slopes including the longest slope in the country, ascend on one of the eight lifts and practice your snowboarding skills on the fun park that has a host of different ramps, kickers, and pipes. Number 10. Het Langst Museum van Limburg. While not strictly a museum, this amazing train journey in the Limburg region definitely offers a slice of history and education. Ride on a historical steam engine through the sublime countryside of Lower Limburg, from Kerkrata to Valkenburg. Travel a short distance to the east of Heerlen to the small town of Kerkrata and travel back in time on the wondrous steam engine. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.